When I saw this boy last, when I left him crying on a corner south of Market, he told me that he would write about me. That's what he shouted out into the darkness as the city swallowed both us whole. I'm gonna write about you. He amused me with his pathetic, newfound sincerity, and suddenly, the object of inspiration, I felt, I don't know, something like triumph or relieved. I had a sense that somewhere, I would soon cease being myself in all my disappointing realness, and instead become something wonderful and spectral, something legible, a sign separating a real person and despair. But then something of the violence of his promise struck me. In writing about me, of course, he'd really write only of himself, his stress, his heartache, his pain. I would exist within his writing only in so far that I helped him to express himself. I would breathe my life into his art, then suffocate and slowly drift up to the moon. And how could I avoid this in my art? To draw a line and have it say, what I am is not important. Look past what I am showing you, and see me only for my raggedness and my messy desperation. I have to draw something, but what it is is not the point. Look to the line. Then I realized that, with my words, I had committed the crime of all those other bad movies whose women exist only to comment on a man. This movie is not about the boy. It's not even about me. It's about that space that opens up when you leave someone who did not have the vision to see you and whom you lack the vision to see. It is about the moment of inarticulable sadness when someone departs from your life and the time for words has passed and the lack of resolution spreads through your veins like ice.